guys. Uh, Sean McHenry from Mystic Koi. I have uh, Masato Hoshino from Kota Koi Farm out in Japan. He's a real, real famous koi breeder. Uh, right now, he's making some of the most amazing goshiki in all of Japan. And uh, I figure while he's out there, we should take this opportunity and actually talk about goshiki. So, so Masato, let's start with this. Goshiki, what, what does that mean? Goshiki is uh, five colors. Five, five colors. All right, so I'm looking at these koi, and I see red, and I see the white white base. Uh, I see some black, and I see gray. That's that's four colors. Yes. You told me the koi is called the five color koi. Yes. What what where, what am I missing here? No, 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 no. yeah, this is a secret. Oh, oh Himitsu. Secret. Secret. Yes. Secret. secret. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's that's yeah. cool. All right, so uh, so um. Uh, go, how would you describe a goshiki? It's like a kind of a cross between like a, a sagi and a kohaku, maybe. Yeah. Right. Like a the red is like a kohaku. Yes. Right. Yes. So uh, so what do we look for in a kohaku pattern? What pattern is it? Uh, yeah. uh, brown. Oh, uh huh. Balance. Balance. And uh, so in like a a step pattern is good. Yeah, yes, right. Yeah. The nazar pattern. Oh, Inazuma, yeah. like a lightning bolt. Yes. So the pattern is not so important, like the, yeah. this type. Yes, yes. But balance is important. Yeah, balance. So um, not too much red on one side, uh, not too much red in the back, or if there is a lot of red in the back, it should be up front too. Yes, yes. And the black no nose. Oh, yeah, black nose. Yes, very important. Yeah, I think it's important, especially with Goshiki, because that nose gets so black, yes. it really brings contrast yeah. out. It looks really pretty, yes. huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, now these goshiki, they are both really high quality goshiki, yes, yes. both bred by, by your by your farm. <laughs> yeah. uh, but they're very different, right? Yeah, different. Uh, can you talk to me about the difference between the two of these? Yeah. This color is a uh, no no black. Oh yeah, no black. Yeah, yeah. If you, if, yeah. When we show you closer, you can, yeah. we can see the how clean it is. Yes, clean. Really. But this color is a uh, uh, black and red. Oh right, right. Yeah, there's black on the red, yes, obviously. Yes, yes. Now, but, but, yeah. uh, some people would say, oh, that koi looks uh, kind of dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But you think differently? But, yes, different. Uh, this koi is a uh, uh, black on the red. Uh huh. But, uh, uh, green pattern? Oh, full green pattern. Yes. On the red. On the red. On the red. So uh, you're saying, like, uh, here's like the scale. Yes. Uh, each scale, yes. uh, it's not like just a black random yes. spot. Yeah. It's like a, a black scallop. Yes. Yes. Outlining the yes. scale, yes. and uh, that's actually very, very beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So uh, maybe a, a lower quality goshiki doesn't have that uh, scallop. It'll have just black yeah. on the red randomly, yes. right? Uh, where on this on this koi, it has a scalloping effect. Yeah. Okay. Very good. That's that's really nice. Mm. Uh, do you have anything else to say about goshiki? Goshiki. Uh, this man said. Oh yeah. Also, yeah. Both these koi are male, but their their body shape is really important. Yes. And, and uh, most people when they talk about koi, they always say uh, uh, conformation is most important. Yeah. Right. Body yeah. shape is most important. Yes. Uh, do you think these koi exhibit good body shape? Yes. Yeah. Easy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Very good body shape. Yes. And they're both able to do this while still being a male koi. Yeah. Whoa, well, well, thanks, Masato. I think uh, I think that was a good lesson on uh, goshiki, and uh, thanks thanks for spending some time talking to me about what a good goshiki is. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so Masato, yeah. um, we just talked a lot about goshiki. Uh, now, which which goshiki was your favorite? Um, but Black goshiki. The one with the one with the with the black on yeah. the red. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, um, typically at a koi show, yeah, probably the one that has the the clean red yeah. is going to be the winner, yeah. right? If the two yes. were at a koi show, this would be the winner. Yes. Um, but you like the other one. Yeah. Why? This is a uh, funiki. 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 That's like a difficult word, right? Yes. Maybe it means like a, it means like a, your feeling. Yes. And. Uh, Let's talk about that for a second because that's really important. Yeah. Um, most hobbyists are are obsessed with this koi needs to win a koi show. Yeah. Uh, so they need other judges or other people to come look at the fish and be like, oh, this yeah. koi is best. Yeah. But 
you like that chord because of uh, your feelings. Yes, yes. You're just drawn to that yes. chord. Yes. Um, I, I think that's important stuff. Yeah, very cool. um, uh, most hobbyists, like a hobbyist needs to kind of focus on a koi that gives them good funiki. Yes. Like a, they look at it and they're yes. like, man, I really like yes. this koi, I enjoy yes. it. Because yes. at the end of the day, uh, koi show is just one day, Yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. And that koi is going to be in your pond for three yeah. or four, five years. Uh, yes. So uh, my advice to hobbyists is when you're picking out a koi, sure, picking out like a show pattern and show quality is very important. But at the end of the day, this koi is going to be in your pond every day, not at a koi show for just one day. So listen to some funiki, right? Listen to what your heart says. Yes, very important. Yes. Thanks, Masada. That's good I stuff. Love them.